at Sec TV. We are here at the Cruden booth with Martin. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. You've definitely made some upgrades since the last time we talked to you. What have you done? Well, basically, if you would notice what we've showed here over the last two years, uh -huh. that was mostly to show what we can, what we're capable of. Mm -hmm. So it was a technology demonstrator to see how well you can do a fast craft simulation. Getting all the feedback, because we've done that all over the world with many end users, mm -hmm. we uh, engineered a product. So what you see here today, mm -hmm. this is our product. This is something you can buy from the catalog that, and we have partnerships with several boat builders. Uh -huh. So if you're looking for a training platform, a simulator for a specific boat, we will build you a simulator for that specific boat. Oh, wow. And what we brought here today is an MST Frisk, but it could be anything uh, uh -huh. what uh, the customer would want for. So that's the main difference. Also, the technology demonstrator mm -hmm. was built for one single person because uh -huh. one person is enough to demonstrate what it's capable of. Uh -huh. But it's not a simulator to train someone to drive the boat, just driving the boat. Mm -hmm. It's all about the crew. So right. here we got a driver and a navigator. They're together uh, on board of the same vessel. Mm -hmm. And everything that you see up there mm -hmm. that's uh, in the console uh -huh. is or original equipment. So it's the wow. original engine instruments, navigation system, radar, everything. It do, it's, not, it's not aware of the fact that it's on board of a simulator. So okay. it believes, like the people, uh -huh. that they are uh, on board of a real craft. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. So they're able to communicate better now with two people on the boat. Yeah. And is there anyone on land or anything like that they're speaking to at all? There's uh, people on land, so there could be a commander or mission commander or uh, you can talk in, in initially to an instructor because in the end you want to learn something so the instructor yeah. the instructor has intercom so uh -huh. there's an open intercom between all the people on board and uh, at the operator desk uh -huh. and during a mission they will change over to radio so they have to select the right channel and uh -huh. use the radio appropriately wow so you guys have thought of everything there's still a lot uh, we can do uh -huh. but uh, we have spent three years listening, you know, getting feedback from end users and yeah. uh, we believe that we've built something now that really works, that really has training value for people who need to be trained on these fast crafts because uh, it's not that it replaces on the water training, but doing this, making this part of the training, not only for new guys, but also for experienced people, you train something in the simulator so that once you'll be out on the water, your underwater training will be so much more effective. Uh -huh. But doing it in a fast craft where it's so important that what you see when you look at the sea uh -huh. yeah. and what you feel when you come across a, a wave and, and how the boat responds to that, yeah. not only for the driver, but also uh, for the navigator and maybe uh -huh. an electro-optics guy who is operating the camera systems or weapon systems, right. that they are all on a platform that behaves just like the real boat. And that's where we make the difference. Yeah. Well, awesome. Do you think I can give it a try? I think you can, yeah. Will I get seasick? You will not. Uh, apart, well, if you get seasick in a real boat, you uh -huh. will probably get seasick in this boat. Huh. But you're outside, uh, yeah. you won't get seasick. Let's yeah. see. Let's give it a shot. All right. All right. Good. Stay tuned. Wish me luck. More at ITSEC TV.